guys, I almost forgot. Stay to the end. I've got a little montage of some plow footage with the plow on this U-Force. All right, let's go. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shane. If you're new, please like, subscribe, share this with somebody else you think you'll get value out of it. Um, today we're here to talk about the Colpin Switchblade Plow. So this plow is adjustable between 60 and 72 inches wide. And so I've got it here on my U-Force XL 1000. This is a, a absolutely phenomenal machine. If you wanna see more about it, let me know, comment. Um, again, I'm in the Amazon Associate Program. So I do turn a small profit. Uh, I earn a little commission off every sale I make. It just helps keep everything flowing, helps me make awesome content like this. So if you guys are looking to buy this, please click the link in my description, use my Amazon affiliate link, and you'll be helping me out, helping me make more content like this. Um, so anyway, I'll, what we've got here is, again, the switchblade plow. Now this plow is universally mountable, so it can mount on almost any machine you got. Uh, Honda, you know, Polaris, Can-Am, doesn't matter. And again, it can be 60 inches wide up to 72. So it'll actually plow a nice clearing path for all your bigger side-by-sides. Uh, so here, I wanted to show you the plow angle is manually adjustable by this lever right here. When you can pull that up, swivel it, and it'll lock, snap back into another slot. I also wanted to show you, now I use my winch and I use a soft tie to come down to here so it's not such a sharp angle with the winch, um, but you can hook it right here if you want to, if you don't have a soft tie. Uh, and then again, this is universally mounted. So up underneath, there's a bracket that is has a bunch of different holes and slots and everything in it. So you'll have to figure out how to make it work on your machine, but I'm telling you, it'll work. I wanted to give you a little view. So here's a pin, pull a cotter pin out here, pull this pin out here, same thing on this side. One cotter pin, one pin. This plow drops down and we'll get a good look at the what the uh, bracket looks like here. So right here, one pin, pull it out. Might have to rotate these. One pin, pull it out. See, bam, plows off, no tools required. Beautiful. All right, back in the garage where it's warm, it's cold out there. I just wanted to show you real quick how light it is to pick it up, all assembled. I mean, look at this, one person, right? So here's the plow feet right here, and they spin. So come here and I'll give you a closer look. Okay, so we're up close here. I wanted to see, show you this plate right here where we had to uh, double it up because see how it is kind of thin right here? So this is really my only complaint with the plow. And these are the plow feet. You see me spin them out. And then uh, what we actually did was welded a nut on the bottom. So you only need one wrench, right? So you just spin it down, lock it down with that nut there and bam, plow feet are down. When you're done, spin them up out of your way. Easy as that. Also, while we're right here, I wanted to just show you that the cutting edge is removable. All these bolts, all the way down. And then that's the other plow foot there. Check this one. Same thing, welded a little plate on it just to reinforce it a little bit, right? And then uh, welded a nut on the bottom. So, may not be the best looking welds, but it works. So if you guys are uh, looking to buy this plow, you might also want to look into getting these feet. And again, those are in the description. Please use my affiliate link. I really appreciate it.
All right, guys, so if you're looking to buy that Colpin switchblade plow, use my link in the description. Um, I'll get the link for the plow, for the plow feet, and for the guides all in the description. It really is a great plow. You know, I will just say it needs a little bit of tweaking. Those couple, like where, where the feet mount is a little weak. Definitely Colpin, if I were you, I'd beef that up just a little bit. It wouldn't take much. Um, again, if you, if you want to check out a video of some smoking deals on Harley parts, check out my other video in the description. I'll, I'll put that link in there. And then check out the very bottom of my description. There's some really awesome, interesting ATV and UTV parts and accessories that you might find interesting. So check those out. Let me know in the comments if you actually think those parts were interesting. If you like this video and you want to see more, please share it, like, subscribe. Thanks.